hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a new or returning subscriber then karibu in this video i'll be showing you how to make super healthy tom brown for your baby and the family with 10 ingredients this process is fast easy and it can last for a really long time if you'd like to know how i make it then keep watching To get started, I'll be using this cup as a measuring cup for all my ingredients. The ingredients we'll be needing are brown rice, one and a half cup of oats, two cups of wheat, three cups of maize, Two cups of soya beans, two cups of sorghum, two cups of yellow millet, also mixed with white millet, 0 0.5 cups of brown beans, and 10 dates. I'll also be adding a bit of peanut, 0 0.5 cups of peanut or less. I'll start by wash soaking my brown rice to soften it for about 15 minutes and also peeling off the back of my soya beans. I do this first by boiling my soya beans for about 5 minutes and then going in with my potato masher to peel off the back. If you haven't seen the video on how to prepare soya beans, kindly click the link above to watch. So now my soya beans is ready, I'm going to be washing all my greens and then spreading them, spreading them outside to sun dry for a little bit. So I'm sun drying them for 2 hours and after about 2 hours most grains are already dry except the soya beans which will take a little more time to dry. I'm going to go in to start roasting. This roasting process you really want to be careful you don't want any of it to get burnt. So I'm going to be roasting on medium heat. This process takes a little while because you need to keep stirring and make sure nothing gets burnt. Once the maize starts to pop and the back of the granite is peeling off, I can tell that this is ready. Also, you will notice that the beans is beginning to peel off a bit and it is ready to be um, grinded. But first of all, I'm going to also let it cool down before the grinding process. I'm going to go ahead and also roast the soya beans and the rice as well. When the soya beans turns golden brown, I know it's ready. Same thing with the brown rice. When it turns really brown, I also know it's ready. I'll also be roasting my oats just for about 2 minutes. This is optional. You can decide not to roast the oats. I just prefer to roast mine for a little while. So now that they are all ready, I'll be mixing all together and it's time for the blending part. So at first I tried to use my blender but I wasn't getting a smooth enough powder so I had to take it to a portion mill to blend. So I think you should use a commercial blender for this to get a really smooth powder but also remember to tell them to blend it in a very neat way because this is a food that the baby will eat and you don't want dirt in what they're eating so at this point it's really smooth and i'm just going to place it outside to dry for a little bit for about two hours and then i'm going to package them in airtight containers like this So you can see how smooth it is and that's because I took it to a commercial grinder and it's really smooth and it smells so good guys. It smells so so good. So now it's time to make the actual meal for the baby. Just depending on the quantity you want to make, 2 to 3 spoons. I'm making this for my baby only. So 2 to 3 spoons in a bowl will be dissolved in water. You need to dissolve really well to avoid lumps. After dissolving I'm going to just cook this I'm just I'm going to just cook this for about seven to ten minutes I'm also cooking this because don't forget there's beans in this so I really want it well cooked 
so seven to ten minutes is fine you will notice a change in color from a change in color and consistency the first color it has and the final color it has you definitely notice a difference that's when you know your tom brown is ready so here i'm just going to keep stirring you can decide to cover and cook but if you cover and cook the bottom may burn so i'm just going to keep stirring till it cooks properly as you can see there's a difference in color between when you first added the tom brown and at this point it turns out about golden brown that's how you know that your tom brown is fully cooked and it's thick enough for well like i always say i don't like making too thick a food for my baby so this is thick enough for me but if you want it thicker then you can cook for a lot longer so it gets thicker but this is just fine Also, when it cools down, it's going to get a bit thicker too. So it's. So guys, if you like what you're seeing in this video so far, kindly click the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you can get updates from me and give this video a like i would really appreciate it and guys subscribing is absolutely free you don't have to pay anything for it kindly help grow my channel by subscribing and our tom brown perfect tom brown is ready it's not just for the baby the entire family can have it see you guys in my next video